Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new Safe Bar. We are going to jump in again and we're still on a good little streak. We've got that going for us. It's pretty beautiful and we get the deleted. We did delete it recently. Let's, ooh, Tainted Maggie. Hell yes. We've actually not got much to do as Tainted Maggie now, so it's Mother or Beast. So we'll take either one that we can get our grubby little hands on. Um, but yeah, I do love a Tainted Maggie run here and there, now and again. Um, I was going to say something. I had like a really poignant, poignant point. To, to talk over at the start of this episode, like, I came into this hot being like, yes, I've got a topic all lined up and ready to go, and I have completely forgotten what the hell I was going to talk about, so that's happened. Uh, we'll go in here straight off the bat and get Goathead. Pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, of course, Goathead's kind of a weird one, really, with this character, because we don't really don't want to trade away too much red HP. Um... But it's not like I'm not going to, if given the option, so... We'll see, we'll see. Um, there's quite a few things that could be pretty good. I was going to say a Thame could be really good, but a Thame doesn't do that anymore. It's not an on-hit effect. But it's not actually as good as I would have hoped. But yeah, getting Goathead off the bat is kind of interesting. Can you... can you stop? Please, thank you. Um, taking damage can make Isaac temporarily invincible. Okay. That's pretty good. Also, all positive pills. Uh, this this is a, a pretty good one to grab there. I very much like the start that we've got here. We've already got an on-hit effect. Um, and it's a really good one as well. And obviously, has the added bonus of making all our pills positive too, which is real nice. All round, very good stuff here. Very good stuff. Got Yum Heart ready again. Yum hearts rare into go. Look at all those hearts. Beautiful. Oh, I just, I love, Tainted Maggie is just probably one of my favourite characters. She just makes on-hit effects so fun. I'm not going to bother wasting HP on you, you little tyke. Oh, there's another one of you, doesn't matter. But yeah, we're going to be getting invincibility quite a lot here, which is going to make our melee abilities even better than they normally would be. Give us like Mum's heal or something here. That'd be pretty good. The like invincibility already coming in handy right there and then. Beautiful. There you go, got invincibility again here. It lasts quite a while as well, like, it's a good amount of invincibility. Um, we just get max HP and a morbid heart. Honestly, max health right now is really good for us because morbid heart not so much, but max HP is really good because I'm probably going to end up going devil deals. I don't remember. Does does go ahead work with angel deals? It doesn't, does it? Because that's why the Eucharist exists. I'm pretty sure I have to go devil deal for it to be useful to me. <laughs> to you too, good big boy. And then we get ourselves. Ghost Baby's really not very good. I'll take random. Your mum's contact, that's pretty good. Also gives us some range too, which kind of helps. Boom and boom. Grab that. Lovely. But wait, there is more. But yeah, it's like a, I think it's like a 25% chance to, uh, to gain the invincibility. As for the question of the day to day. Hmm. Hmm. If you could... If you could apply anywhere's climate to where you live now, what would it be? Not not like what climate would you like to live in, but like if you could if you could change where you live now. I just I'd love it to be perpetually like I don't even know, like I don't want it to be ridiculously hot. It's, it's quite it's, it's like 29 degrees in the UK at the minute. That's like the right level of heat. Um But if I could have it like this all the time and it not rain all the time. The UK would be a lot, lot better. I'd be a lot happier. It just, it makes everyone in a better mood. Like, literally everyone's in a better mood when it's like this. You know what? These morbid, morbid hearts are lasting quite some time. I wouldn't have expected that, but... Happy for it, certainly. Beautiful stuff. And then, boss man. It's Clogoth. Okay, we got invincibility now. We basically have invincibility for like the rest of the fight at this point. It lasts that long. <laughs> oh, it's it's ludicrous. This, this is so good. Uh, gonna go devil deal first this time so I don't get teleported away. Uh, Multi-dimensional baby, I don't care for. I will take this though. 
I didn't get any stats down there, so I'm pretty happy. Okay, and we got another HP up, which means Devil Deals are even more viable. Even more viable. I don't know what, what on hit. Like, my Shadow would be really good, I think. Yeah, goddamn. We got, like, one of the best items we can possibly get here. Need a way to get more pills as well, because that's going to be... I always forget how good Virgo is, the fact that it, like, augments how uh, thingies work. Pills work. Cause it's, just, it's just kind of a weird added on effect. There's so many items in this game that make all pills positive. There's like four now. Three? Three or four? It's still, it's, it's a lot. Dude, you need to stop running away so I can kill you. Oh my god, you're so annoying. There you go. Bloody hell. Um... Spawns a golden trinket on pickup, grinds your current trinket into a rock trinket, can grind regular trinkets into rock trinkets. Potentially useful. Don't know why this guy's holding on to the fires, but I'll let him do him. Okay. Yum high up. Get all the hearts there. We did get an angel deal. Now I'm just confused. Um, we got a joker. That's great. So I think we go in here. Um, yeah, that's fine by me. We'll take that. So right now, let's grab this. Go back over here. We still haven't found any bombs yet, which is weird. I'd like to bomb some stuff. I would very much like to bomb some stuff. Right, we need to go and do our thingy room. Which means we actually need to use our tears, which is gross. Good. Actually using tears. Despicable. Managed to free- I, I think I'm freezing enemies with my melee as well, which I for some reason didn't think could happen, but I'm very happy it can. Ranger, lovely. Um, let's go in here first. Summon a demon. Probably should have taken that temperance. Um, do you know what snake? I like snake. I will take snake. Um, bum, bum, bum. See if we get a bomb anywhere. I've kind of got an idea. I want to use this gift card at some point, but at the minute the game's not really giving me the opportunity so much. That was a very bad hit by me there. We get Yum Heart back though, that's alright. There's a little depression cloud going on over there. We didn't get any bombs, which is just strange. <laughs> kind of puts a damper on my whole idea with the uh with the gift card here, but hey ho. Right, we can't use melee in these rooms unless we want to be extra spicy, so let's uh, be careful. But this Psy Hunter dude is going to do some work for us. He's going to do some work for us. Oh god. A very, very bad hit there. Very much my bad. I didn't see that coming. I don't really know how. I should have seen that coming. Okay, Psy Hunter Boy is doing work once again. He's really good, honestly. For a card, like, you get a pretty, pretty damn beefy guy here. Does some real good work. And unless he runs straight through all those tiers, then, yeah, he's going to kill himself. But, hey her. Right, we'll grab this. Um, okay, I've got, I've got a new idea. It's slightly risky, but I'm going to do it anyways. I think, I think I have the means of, of which to do this. Oh god, there was an enemy there that I didn't see. Basically, clear these rooms, see if we can get a bomb. Still no bomb. Come on, game. Give us a bomb. You know you want to. Let's not have these Pulties wreckers, shall we? Okay. Come on, what the hell? Where's, the, the, hopefully there's one in the shop. 
No bomb. Okay. Now it's time to take the risk and do the boss. My snake guy just got instantly gibbed there. I don't exactly know what this guy does. I'm hoping he doesn't do the jumpies. The jumpies are always the bit that gets me killed. And unfortunately, I don't have a bomb to throw at this guy either. Oh, my snake came back. I didn't realize it respawned. These are the jumpies I was just referring to. Do not like them. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn this into a mysterious gift. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna go back over here. Cause I wanna I wanna keep my mysterious gift, but I also wanna make sure that I can take the devil card, because I know I've got goat head, but it's nice to just teleport straight into the room, right? Right, let me go through here. And then I'd like to get a bomb from the shop so I can use this mysterious gift this floor in the secret room. But we'll see if that's actually plausible or not. We will see how plausible that might be. Bomb. There is a sack which could give us a bomb. It did give us a bomb. Nice. And a secret room is almost definitely... Wait, actually... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Where is our secret room? Balls. I thought I, I thought I knew exactly where it was, but I don't actually think I do anymore. Uh, I'm gonna have to gamble now. I'm not happy with it. I think I think it's here. Good, it was. First of all, let's pop one of them. Wow, that was very useful. Okay, okay. Wasn't expecting that, but thank you. Um, we can do Mother and then Beast, then, in this run. We can do both. Depending on if we survive, but we can do both. Okay. Right, wasn't expecting this to be a long run, I'll be honest, but... It is what it is. And right, yeah, we take our Joker card. Um, and we go down. Why did I go down this way? I was meant to go... Oh, because I don't have bombs, of course. We Joker. We get a very, very strong item. Holy shit, this is such a good item to get early on. And now we have to hope we get two bombs so that we can uh, get past everything. We do get the the extra Job tiers at the start here. I don't like the fact that you're spawning behind the rock there, my guy. Do not, thank you. Oh my god, just a lot of things over the over the paths is annoying. I was like, why can't I melee that guy? But he is over the gap. That's kind of why. One. Two. Three. Do three for now. I'm going to get Yum Heart and do that again. Take this pill. It's going to be positive. Full health. Good to know that exists. Four. Got the invincibility. Five. Six. And seven. Sadly didn't get anything we wanted there, but hey ho, you gotta try these things, gotta try these things. Right, back we go. God damn, turn it, Maggie's so fun. Gotcha, and then we'll check in here. I shouldn't do this because I'm losing money if I get hit by him. And even more money for us. Lovely. Good thing is as well now we have like an out if things go really pear-shaped. Okay, we've got one of our bombs. We need another one now. My tears are just about to wear off. Why is there so many enemies over gaps right now? Can you give me enemies that I can melee, please? It's getting kind of frustrating. Also, where's my invincibility? Okay, come on now. Stop with these shenanigans, please. And of course I get invincibility on the last enemy killed in the room. That makes sense. Thanks, game. Taken care of. 
These guys all come towards me, so... Nice and easy. Good thing is as well, even if I get hit on my actual red hearts, it doesn't matter. I can still uh, very, very easily... Um, get my devil deal. Don't make no difference to me. Come on, please give us another bomb. Don't, don't be this guy. Oh god. Uh, this has got to give us a bomb, right? Oh, come on now. This is silly. It's so annoying when, like, you're trying to do something like this in the game. I'm just going to give myself a bomb if the game doesn't give me one. God damn, I've got Arky. I'm not letting it, the game ruin me like this. I'm not letting it happen, I swear. Nah, it'll give, it'll give me a bomb. It will give me a bomb. Oh my god. How dare you, game? How dare you? Okay, this this will give us a... Actually, wait, I'd have to spend a bomb to get over there. I can't do that, just in case. That'll probably give me a bomb back, but... Eh. The chance of me getting two bombs back aren't super. There we go, we got one. Okay, we're in the clear. Right, this better be an on-hit effect. It's not, but it's, it's, it is, however, something terrible that I really don't like. Yeah, I'm not going to be taking that, thank you. I can't believe I used a bomb on that as well. What the hell? I mean, that is plus five bombs. We do have bombs if we desperately need them, but I really don't like telebombs. They, they throw me off so much. Right, don't use a bomb on that. Because we can doesn't mean we should. Dude, Virgo Invincibility, do you want to pop quickly? Virgo was just not a fan today. <laughs> oh, we've already been in here. I was like, yay, yeah, angel deal. Nope, we've already been in here. You stupid. Okay, keep it moving. Keep it grooving. We are good to go. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Oh, oh, you're just dropping on my head, I see. Oh my god. Our stats are going up nicely. Hopefully we can kill more bosses. That'll increase our stats permanently for a good while. You can hug me. Oh, what, you died when I... <laughs> okay, I get that now. Is that like a pre-programmed thing? Because she has deadly hugs. So when you hug them, they just die. That's pretty funny. I like that. What's this? While held, your coins can never fall below six. Kind of an interesting idea. Don't need it though. I mean, we don't have a trinket right now, so it's not a bad thing to take, I guess. Okay. Need more bombs, game. If you could find your way to lend me some more bombs, that'd be nice. Okay, keep it going with a yum heart. Gotta keep checking the shops in case there's something amazing for us in the shops. And Drowsy's good to know about. Um, we got another one of these, which is kind of insane. Uh, right, okay, let me just think about this. Um, I think I definitely want to buy this first and then hope that I can afford that. We got another gift card though, which like I said is pretty insane. Right, come here you. Okay, health is still looking really good regardless of the fact that we're running into everything. Okay. Forgot that that enemy doesn't uh take damage the same way as regular enemies. Okay. He's nice and easy though. Nothing to worry about. Nice, nice, nice. Boss time, I think. Yes, boss time. Okay, you guys actually have to shoot at... Luckily, we've got some okay damage now, so... Shooting at enemies isn't that big of a deal. 
Hornfell. Little bit tricky on the, uh, the the old melee aspects. We'll see if we can make it work though. It's doing just fine. Give me some of your tasty bombs. Thank you. <laughs> this guy's just chilling. Bye. That's good. That's good. We did get an actual devil deal here, though. Unexpected, but not terrible. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go... I don't know. Do I want to go whole hog here? It's risky, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just because our melee is good, but it's not going to see us through the, the mother fight. So, we need a way to be able to get through the mother fight. Very weird long straight to the boss there. Bomb that now. Bomb that open. One second. Okay, we are back. Apologies about that. Right, let's grab these two as well. Unfortunately, that one not so good. Got some decent stuff there. We're just going back for our item room, aren't we? Kind of forget where we are now. I've been on the phone for like half an hour. My bad, but yeah, okay, so I, I have def definitely taken a risk with my HP, but I'm basically my, my risk here is hoping that later on it pays off. It do it does just mean that at the moment we're going to have a slightly harder time meleeing enemies for now. Um, okay, I don't like this. Uh, Mum's Eye, I don't really care for. Let's take that. It's actually That's actually really good, to be honest. Now we can hold everything we need. And we got a Soul of the Lost here, which is probably better than the full health. All right, let's go. Let's go. But yeah, hopefully we can get a few more HP ups regardless and go from there. Just because I don't want to be on too low HP the whole time. I don't mind being on a little bit low HP, but I'd like an extra buffer. Is this a secret room? Looks secret roomy to me. That is... Oh, and we get a soul of Lilith. I like that. Rainbow baby, thank you. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go with that into that. And then go into the secret room with this. Let's see what we get here. That's a health up. I'll take that. Speed down isn't great. But the health up's actually not bad. I don't mind that at all. Um, and we grab that. Yeah, the health up, that that helps me immensely. And we'll try and keep this I'm drowsy the entire time until the mother fight. Like, it's a, it's a long time to hold on to it, but I think it's definitely worthwhile. Right, down we go. Definitely worthwhile. Got one of these bad boys. that real quick. We can take all of these. It's another I'm drowsy. No. I don't really care about the potential of wasting HP here, so I'm just going to go for it. Right. Back at it. Back at it. But yeah, now we've got really, really good damage. I mean, our damage stat is likely to be pretty good anyways, just due to the um, Chimera giving us stats. But you can't count on Chimera to give you the stats you want, is the problem. We'll get some good stats, but we won't get all the stats we want. So we have to, at least a little bit, sort of leave it up to uh, actually getting items that increase our damage. More bombs, thank you. Pop in here real quick. These have been reasonably useful for us thus far. We got Yum Heart again. I just got to remember to not accidentally press space when I want to use Yum Heart. That's going to be tragic if I do that. Another I'm Drowsy. Finding a lot of those at the minute. Finding a lot of those. 
Okay, nice, and we've got these ghosty boys doing their own thing. But you can see at the minute we've already entered the point where firing at enemies is pretty viable. Invincibility there helps. Ooh, baby. That's not, it's not insane, but it's nice. Golden heart there, lovely. I'll pop your heart, why not? Okay. I do not like not having mapping. I have absolutely no idea where I've been. It's the worst thing. Absolutely the worst curse is not having mapping. I hate it. Where have I been? Where am I going? I've been here apparently too. I like the way that if snake spawns while my to toy drum is on, it, it spawns the, the snake really large. Okay. Keep this moving and grooving. Health isn't particularly good right now. Gotta remember, I don't have to use melee all the time. Empress, eh, not so bothered. But melee is life. That that room got a bit risky there, but we got through it. Ooh, tainted treasure room. Uh, taking damage adds a charge of blade maelstorm. Um, ability you can hold up to three charges. Double tapping, shoot. Double tap. Double tapping shoot will consume a charge and fire a vortex of saw blades, some of which pull enemies into them. Ooh, that sounds really cool. We lose our invincibility here, but that seems ultimately very, very cool. Okay, so we've got one of these things now. And then we can go and double tap fire. Oh my lord, okay. Yeah, I like this. It was not what I was expecting to happen. I can tell you I'm relatively happy with what happened. We get the quarter here as well, why not? Intriguing stuff. Intriguing stuff this all is. We've seen our item room, haven't we? No? We've not seen our item room? This is depths too. Wait, why am I in the depths? Hold up. Wait a minute. Why am I on the depths? Where the fuck's my item room? Just give me mappings. I know where the fuck I'm going. Please, game. I hate this. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's okay, I'm on the wrong floor, I think. How did I manage this? At what point was I not paying attention? <laughs> it was definitely a point where I missed something. I'm not quite sure where it was. This is crazy. Where's the item room? I'm so confused. Where is the item room? My goodness. We're gonna have these saw blades like all the time as well, it's great. Okay, we found it. Ooh, we got mustard seed again. It gives us a heart container as well, which is really nice. I still don't really know where I went wrong. I'm just going to teleport myself back to Mausoleum because I'm confused at where I went wrong. I went wrong somewhere. Don't remember where. Let's go do the boss. Yeah, so we are on the mum fight, accidentally. So, we can take the negative here. 
Take the devil deal? What's in the devil deal? Okay, now I can't take anything from here anyways, because I'm not meant to technically be here. Okay. Stage... Is it 13? No. 11? No. 9? 8? 7? 6? 6C. Yeah, Mausoleum 2, okay. So now we've technically not skipped, we've skipped the floor. I I did it wrong, it's fine. My bad. Very confused, I'm still very confused. Also, we don't get po all positive pills now. Where did we get all these friends from? Oh, this is Mustard Seed. Mustard Seed is working hard apparently at the moment, holy shit. Big boys. Ah, oh, buddy, yeah, we got all these crows. Oh my god, there's so much going on right now. Crows, can you please land? There you go. I guess I'll take this. What's this? Spawns four souls. Okay, I don't really care about that so much. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> My god. How many friends? Dude, the cultists revive other enemies and we've got like five of them. This is nuts. This is silly how good this is. Mustard seeds, you did not plan on this happening, did you? I'm going to have to go back and review the footage to know where I messed up. I, I I definitely just went down to the wrong floor at some point, but I'm not sure where. <laughs> this is so hectic. Oh my god. How the hell am I meant to keep track of what's going on here? And the saw blades are kind of crazy as well. Got all that business going on. We've got eight luck at the minute. There's a chest in here somewhere, but... Finding it's a, a mystery. Also, there's there's fires that I can hurt myself on. I'm so confused as to where I am right now. There's apparently fires in here that I can hurt myself on that were spawned by my familiars, which is great. This has become a whole nother beast. This has just become something else entirely. Why not have more friends? Why not? Yeah, maybe don't let it work with the cultists that can revive anything and everything they want to. Also, my screen keeps turning red periodically. Not quite sure what that's about. We all good here? We are all good here indeed. Oh <laughs> my god. Mustard seed, what have you done? This is so crazy. This is not what I expected at all. Right, keep trying to push through. I don't even need to melee things at this point. Everything's just dying. All these guys going on. Some saw blades in the business as well. Need to get over there, apparently. What's even alive still? What, what enemy could possibly live through all of this? I'm so confused. <laughs> the game is so laggy, oh my god. Mustard Seed heavily broke the game. Another tented treasure room, wow. Oh, this is just so silly. Oh, we only have one key. Oh my god. I kind of wish we'd do away with all of these friends, because it's getting a little crazy. Ah, we missed out on the tainted treasure room. It's fine. It is what it is. 
Oh, this has appeared, really. Okay, we grab that. We go into the devil deal. Oh my god. Just drop on me hand, thank you. Right, try and get in here. There you go, we're in. <laughs> God. Oh, it's gonna be slow going. Didn't think this is where the room would be right now, I'll be honest. Didn't think this is where the room would be. But here we are. Mustard seed one cultist that can revive enemies. And it's all over. And they come with us as well to the next floor. Like, I don't even need to attack enemies myself. I just have this army of non-stop summoners. <laughs> I've never had this before. What the hell? Oh my god, everything's so laggy though is the only problem. Like, this hand is taking forever to come down. Just drop so you can die. There you go. Just committed suicide into the middle of all of that. We're getting more enemies from this floor as well. Even more stuff from this floor. Don't throw rocks at me, please. A library? Um, I guess we'll take Bookworm. Like where the, the Arky is golden now. Guys, can you stop trashing the place, please? My goodness. This is just ridiculous. We've got our Arky back now, though. Hopefully we can actually find the boss. Right, let's keep it going. Sorry about that, right? Let's keep this going. Yeah, at the minute, <laughs> things are a little crazy. Um, a lot of them guys were dying to the spikes there. I could just leave them all to die to the spikes, but... It's like, where's the fun in that? This is hectic, but it is fun. Um, I still got three reviving cultists left, I think, by the looks of it. Which is probably still enough to keep this army going for the rest of the run. Get our saw blades in there. Oh my god. Okay. We're up to 20 luck now, apparently. It's nice. I think each one of those small guys from the Mega Envy counted as one boss. Which is kind of ludicrous. We've also got so much luck now that Mustard Seed is propping like all the damn time, which is adding to the craziness that is this run or what this run already is. The saw blades as well. Come on, please just take us straight to the boss. It's getting a bit old now. All this backtracking and stuff. There's only corpse one, goddammit. Kingpin, really? Oh my god, he gave us a bunch of stats as well. <laughs> what do I even call this run? Even without the R key, this run's insane. Everything dead? No, there's a little spider in here. Oh my god, spiders, please stop. Just let the door open. Trying to get some saw blades going, ready for the actual fight with the boss. Don't know if I need them, but I've got them. The viz appears. Yeah. We've still got our, our, our I'm Drowsy as well. I'll use one of my saw blades on him here. I've lost my burn heart, but I wasn't too attached to that, I'll be honest. 
I am attached to living, though, and right now... That wasn't looking great. Right, Squeezy's pretty good here. The fire rate is needed. Um, do that and then take that, which is free, right? Beautiful. Right. Down we go. <laughs> what the fuck is this run? What the absolute fuck is this run? Right, I'm really hoping that I can just beeline the boss at this point. I don't want to piss around too much. Because there's just no need. Oh, I just used all my saw blades by accident, by tap firing. My bad. I keep forgetting that it tap it's tap fire to fire your saw blades. Like, I've got some more back. It's okay. It's fine. It's all good. Please just tell me I'm going the right way. A dime dropped in here somewhere, but... Don't need that either. I just can't believe how perpetual this, this army is. It just keeps growing. And changing and reforming. It's nutty. Please just let me leave. Why won't this enemy die? That, that one enemy killed so much of my army off there. It's okay though, we bested it. Pop a yum heart real quick. This seems like it's the right way so far. Kill the room. I wonder if we can turn him into a friendly. What the hell happens there? What the hell? I'm getting so confused at so many of these rooms. I'm just like, what the hell is possibly still alive? Here we go. We went the right way first time. Love that. Okay. Down we go. Pop, I'm drowsy. Pop my saw blades. Don't know how well they'll do, but they're definitely going to uh, kill him quickly. The lag is a little bit unbearable, but they're going to kill him quickly. No doubt about that. Actually, staying alive is a little bit of a problem here, though, because although I'm killing him fast, I don't have a lot of health. But if, if anything goes really wrong, we do have our key to just pop real quick. My goodness, the only thing is our saw blades aren't going to do much now on the second phase here. We've got I'm Drowsy going. I'm just a little worried about our current HP. Got to do this whole thing in four hits. Oh wait, the saw blades are hitting him here. Okay, this is good. Just stay over there. Saw blades are doing a good bit of damage, although they are all fading out now, unfortunately. But if we get hit, we can probably fire more, so bear that in mind. Dude, bomb? Why Why would you do that bomb? But yeah, we got more saw blades going. Dude, I can't get around you right now, so this attack's kind of unfair. Get as many bombs out there as we can. Okay, we got him. Ooh, nice. Okay. Once the chest appears, we can arky. My goodness. Okay. Let us arky. Start or over again. Wow. <laughs> so we're going to be pretty overpowered now. Uh, and then we're going to go and do... Where? Now we're going to go do the beast. Okay. Well, coming through rooms here. Luckily we've actually got rid of most of our friends now. So that the game is lagging 
way, way, way less. But this is going to be pretty much a beeline to victory sort of thing. We still have the uh, negative as well, so we don't even need to worry about killing Mum, really. Although I would like to keep the damage from the negative, I'll be honest. Just, this is what I mean by about how, how insane Chimera is. We have 26 luck, and like, look at our damage stat and stuff. It's just absolutely ludicrous. Alright, we're just going straight for the beast here, so no need to worry. Mother's Kiss. There you go. Count is unlocked on the second floor, apparently, not the first, but there you go. I don't even care about missing item rooms. We'll miss a few here and there, but it is what it is. This is all about just the completion mark, and I think really the only thing we're really missing for the beast fight is potentially some more HP. Other than that, I think we can pretty much say we're pretty golden for it. Like, look at that. <laughs> the insta-kills. That's more HP. Um, with the amount of luck we have, that's actually probably pretty worthwhile. Um, and then we'll just go. The, the star is also real good, I've got to say, but I'd, I'd rather keep more HP than have something that's going to give us a lot of extra damage, but unnecessary damage. But yeah, with the amount of luck we have, a theme should pretty much be procking on almost every kill, which will also trigger in the um, thingy boss fight, the beast fight, with certain... Uh, certain Horseman in particular. Oh, we don't have keys. I mean, it's not like I need the item rooms, but I thought we had keys. That's a key. No, Eternal D10. Actually, we got through. We got past our phase of seeing that item a ton, didn't we? We for for a while. That's the only thing we ever saw. We are past that now, at least. Solve our key problems a little bit. Come on, boss room, where you at? We don't need to be seeing every room plausible here, do we? Um, guess I'll just bite the soul heart. I don't really care. One momento. Okay. I love the new Ethereum. It's so good. And we get the Fallen here as well, hello. Concussion doesn't really do much for us, unfortunately. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm really just beelining it at the minute. I just don't need any additional stats or items or anything. My god. The chain reactions. They're so powerful. It would just be nice to have mapping, to be honest. Just so that we can know we're going the right way. Another tainted treasure room here. We still don't have the keys for it. Sadly, no right way the first time around. We've still got a little army going, though, from Mustard Seed here. Not quite the insane army of the cultists that we had before, mind you. But... Still quite a lot. Quite a lot going on. Bloody hell. All the wrong ways we can possibly go. I don't care for this. Take me the right way. Pick up a key just in case. Trying to beat the timer on my uh, my health decreasing as well. Really, I'm just looking for mapping in there if I can get it. So Lazarus doesn't do much for us. Still somehow went the wrong way here. God damn it, when I'm in a rush, every single which wrong way we can go, really. Right. Grab you. Here's the boss. A oh, brain worm? That'd be awesome. Sadly not though. Oh, really? We have to get one of these enemies in here? Apparently even my own familiars can trigger the uh, a theme effect, which is kind of interesting. 
Oh, this is about to be a chain reaction and a half. Yep. I won't take anything from that. Right, we're going to take a quick pause here. Okay, we are back to speeding through this. Let's go. Missed that item rim this floor, but like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm hoping we can get a little bit more HP before we get there, but like I said, it's not a massive issue if we don't. Right, let's keep it moving along. At the minute, it's all just hoping we go the right way. But yeah, the beast should get absolutely wrecked here, I think. By the looks of it. I mean, like I said, a theme is just going to proc like crazy on anything that spawns all the little flies and stuff. And apparently we can take in our own familiars, well, our, our own friends here, that will also proc it, so it's kind of interesting. Oh, I've skipped over two rooms here, because I've cursed, like, the shuffle curse. And so it could be the right way, so I've got to go back. How are you still alive? Dude, how are you still alive? Fucking die. Trying to speed here. Trying to speed. Hey, we've actually got a key for this this time. Puppy for dummies isn't terrible. I guess I'll take it. It doesn't really matter that much, but I guess I'll take it. Okay. And we are good to go. Hello, Brownie. Oh, you've done it. <laughs> you've made a foolish mistake spawning extra enemies there. A very foolish mistake. Oh, we don't want any of that. I want to keep our HP here. Right, keep it going. And we can just go straight through, right? Yeah, we don't even have to worry about this floor. We can just go onto the ascent. Curse of Misfortune. Oh no, minus five luck. Now we only have 20 luck. No, sorry, we only have 25 luck. Oh no, how am I ever going to survive with such low luck? What's going on with this room? Certain enemies that just, like, refuse to die. Oh, there's a luck penny in there. Do you think I should get it? With my 30 luck. Don't quite think we'll need it. Ooh, lots of red button rooms. Don't mind that. We all done in here? Nope. It's always very hard to work out when a room's done or not. God damn. Mustard seed is cracked. We've, we have managed to get another cultist, but it's a red cultist, not a purple one. I think the red ones can't revive enemies. I think it's the, only the purple ones, so mausoleum is a little bit safer for us. Let me out. What's still alive? <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Didn't really think we'd be getting one of them, but I'll take it. Ooh, hello. Ice Tears as well. Oh, wait. Ice Tears is terrible, I think, because I think now a Therm won't trigger. Yeah. I am willing to remove... I'm willing to remove a, a good item to make way for a more interesting synergy. And I realise I'm technically cheating by using console commands, but it's fine. It's all in the net. This run's already won. Come on now. <laughs> Whether I'd have done that or not. Right, on to the ascent. The ascent should be pretty quick as well here. I don't think we'll be having much trouble. It's gone. Just get over it. Especially when a viz just ends the room. Wow, that's like the shortest one shortest floor I've ever seen. What the hell? Yeah, it's always annoying with um, Uranus that uh, the freezing effect stops certain things working like that. It'd be really nice if someone released a patch for that. I mean, it's it's kind of good, like, in a way. It has benefits, but it also has a lot of negatives. It'd be nice to see that fixed somehow. I don't really know how you'd go about doing that, though. I don't think it's something that's easy to do exactly. Black heart, nice. God damn, I'm so focused on just speeding through at the minute. These early floors where there's no tainted enemies are really easy anyways, because there's nothing damage blocking you. 
Look at the amount of friends we have. Mustard Seed with this much luck. I don't actually know if Mustard Seed is affected by luck, but I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure that's why it's so crazy right now. A big boy here. I want through. Really? The si that's weird. The same room back to back. I've not seen that before. Don't like all of these big rooms back to back. It's a very, very, very strange layout actually for the Ascent. I've never really seen anything like this. I don't even know if I've missed my mark or not. This enemy is just going to be very, very annoying, isn't it? I'm just going to skip this room because this enemy's not going to die anytime soon, I don't think. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, God, Saw Blaze. Ow. The fuck hit me then? Is this guy going to die or not? There you go, he's finally dead. Okay, no, the room never actually finished. Great. Just use bombs to skip these guys because they don't die. There we go. I thought it'd be this room. Right. Go, 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 go. Don't care about concussion. Dude, another one of these guys, really? It's it's because of um Mum's contact. It, it breaks these guys really badly. They keep getting frozen, and therefore they can't do their little animation with the iframes. And therefore they don't take any more damage, and therefore they take forever to kill. We, we have limited bombs, so we kind of have to kill one. But he's killing all my friends. Yeah, if he gets mums contacted, he's just like... Frozen. Slightly more cautious. I need to try and pick up hearts where I can. Dude. Why? When it rains, it pours. There's so many of these fucking guys. Go away. This enemy's so inconvenient. Oh, dude. He's firing Ludo tears that I can't fucking escape. There you go. You're finally dead, you bastard. My god, too many of those dudes. At least we escaped this floor relatively quickly. But please no more of those, come on now. I've said this before how, about how the game works like that, where the certain enemies that you literally won't have seen in fucking ages, and then you'll have a run where like every single room contains one of them. We lost a lot of our friends on that last floor. Is slightly bad, but also I don't really care. Okay, last ascent. Let's go. I don't care. My God, a fame. So satisfying. We've still got a lot of friends about now. Anzus. It doesn't t tell us where our goddamn thingy is, though. Our portal upwards. Don't even know what these guys do. Do they just, like, suck the all your charges off of you? Oh, come on now. Where is it? Got to be this room, right? Yeah, okay. We're good, we're good. Right. Ooh, wow, okay. Extra damage upgrade just to head us off at the end there. I mean, the luck not so much. Ooh, we finally got blanket as well. Been wondering when we'd get that unlock. Right. What mum item are we going to get? 
<laughs> Don't think that does much for us. Okay. Should be a pretty fast kill on this guy. Keep Yum Heart in mind. Ooh, I did not think about a Thame Herming. That's pretty nice. Yeah, and also my familiar's dying proccing a Thame is pretty awesome. It's pretty useful. <laughs> There's not many of them left now, though, sadly. I don't think Mustard Seed's going to do too much against this guy, I'll be honest. Don't do the spinnies. Please don't do the spinnies. Oh, dude. The saw blades with Herming is cracked. Didn't think about that. Does this give us a charge when we start this? It doesn't, no. We have to fight one of them without a charge. That's okay, though. We can do that. Not actually killing these guys quite as fast as I thought we would be, but as soon as we get Hermin going, this guy should be dead pretty quickly after that. Because I can use my saw blades then, and hopefully gravity doesn't fuck them too much. I don't exactly know if they're affected by gravity, but sometimes in this fight, gravity can fuck things up. Yeah. He spawns little flies. They get affirmed. Right, then we pop this, and we go... Ba-boom. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Didn't work quite how I was hoping it would, but... Pretty funny. Because they go into the lava and just die. When we get hit, we potentially get saw blades and they can do some crazy damage. Why is my fire rate so much lower than it normally is? My fire rate's been crazy high recently, but maybe Chimera's stat boosts don't count in this fight somehow? It'd be weird if that was the case, but I swear I had a lot higher fire rate than this before. Unless I'm just sorely mistaken. Oh, really? You're going to do this attack? No, no, you're not good. You tried it, but you can't do that. Ow. We got some saw blades though. That'll help for the next fight. Right, you're good. Right. Hello, fella. Have some saw blades. It's unfortunate it drags them down into the fire because as soon as they hit the lava, they just die. Oh, that was pretty awesome. Okay. <laughs> a theme worked really well there. Ho hopefully the stalagmites also trigger a theme here, because that will uh, will start some crazy stuff going on. Ah, do they not trigger on kill effects? Ah, they do. Okay, they do. <laughs> Look, every single one of them's just like triggering a theme ring now. <laughs> Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I was hoping, though. It's fine, though. He's going to die relatively quickly here. Also, didn't realize we had a Yum Heart charge there. Right. Go under me. You're going to change you over any second now, anyways. You'll change back to the side you were just at any second. There you go. I could see that coming from a mile away. Right. Everything's a themed up now. Salivites aren't grouped evenly enough to keep the a train going. But either way. He's dead. 
Well, that was a pretty fun Arky run. I hope you guys did enjoy that one because I thoroughly did. And yeah, not what I expected, but a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.